Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to talk to you about an app that I've been using for a couple of years now and actually recently used in January at CES 2018. Now I use this because I was on public Wi-Fi and I wanted my data secure, so I used a VPN. And specifically I use NordVPN. Now I've partnered with them because I've used them and I like their product, so they've sponsored this video, and I wanted to show you how it works because this is probably the best, or at least it's my favorite when it comes to VPN apps for not only your iPhone, but Android PC, Mac, or whatever you're using. So let's go into this here and you'll see that you can quick connect or see all their servers. Now they have over 4,000 servers in 62 countries and there's no data logging whatsoever. So you can quickly connect like this. We'll just hit connect and we're connected. It goes green. It says VPN in the upper right. You'll see it even when you're in the home screen here. It says VPN up there, and now you know you're connected. So you're through a VPN or virtual private network, and no one can see what you're doing. So what that means is maybe you want to upload a video to YouTube and you don't want anybody to be able to hack your account or anything like that. Uh, that's kind of what I would use it for, but other people are going to use it for different reasons. Now, if we go to all servers, you'll see here's all of the different servers and they do allow point to point connections and onion over VPN, but you'll see here are all the connections available, many, many countries, and it will actually get past the China firewall. So if you're in China and you want to use this to connect back to something you have in the United States, uh, something along those lines, they claim that it will work. However, I have not been to China, so I can't say that for myself, but they say not only China, but the Middle East, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, those countries as well. It also has military grade encryption. So let's go here and then we'll go to disconnect. And then if we hit the little button here, we've got all of our different account settings. So you'll see here, there's a kill switch that I have turned on. So it disconnects from the internet if the connection with the server is lost. So it immediately disconnects if you lose that VPN connection. Those are pretty simple and straightforward. And we'll go back here and then we can select a favorite as far as what connection we want as far as servers. And then when you're connected, let me quick connect again. I'll show you how fast that is. We're connected. It gives you your new IP, your connectivity status, and what you're connected to. And then it allows up to six different connections at once. So if I go over here to Android and I'm actually already connected, that's what this is up here. So you'll see here is the VPN. It's telling me my speed and I can disconnect. We'll go over here to the VPN app and you can browse servers just like you could before. We go into the different settings and here we have CyberSec enabled to avoid ads and protect your device from malware, phishing, and other threats. You can also use obfuscated servers, use TCP. When using Wi-Fi, tap to manage exceptions. There's a few more options in Android as you can see here. They also have browser extensions for Chrome so we can connect on an, a Mac or a Windows PC as well. Now if we look at my Mac, we'll connect here and you'll see we're connected and the nice thing about all of these is they are completely encrypted so you don't have to worry about that as well. And to show you exactly what they do and don't collect, let me show you on my iPhone. I screenshotted this before I started the video and opened the VPN app to log in for the first time. And as you can see here, it says we care about your privacy and here's what they use your email address because you logged in with that. So they've got that aggregated anonymous app usage data, including your device and OS version to troubleshoot effectively improve our app. So they're just seeing what your device is, what version you're on, and that's it. We do not or don't log your online activity nor any personal identifiable information. And so that part is something I can get on board with. And that is why I've been using NordVPN for a very long time. And it works great across any device that you have that connects to the internet. Again, you can go here, disconnect right from your settings. And again, browse your server. You'll see all the different ones. And then again, connect. Everything's super fast, it works really well, and works up to six devices, like I said. So they've been nice enough to offer a discount code to any of you viewing this, so I'll link that in the description below. It's Zolotech, put that in for your discount, and if you want a two-year plan, it's $3.29 a month, $11.95 month to month. So the thing is, is no, it's not free, but the reason it's not free is because they don't collect your data, so they need to pay for those servers so that you can use their VPN. So. 
That part I think you'll appreciate. And also they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try it out. And if you don't like it, go ahead and cancel. Let me know your thoughts about NordVPN in the comments below. If you haven't used them or you've used another one, let me know which one you're using also. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.